Knowing what brushes to get when you first start oil painting can be very confusing. There's bristle brushes, synthetic brushes, sable brushes, flats, rounds, filberts, different sizes, 5, 6, 2, 12, 16. What do you get? So I put together an affordable, simple brush set for beginning oil painters that you can order online and have shipped directly to your door. Let's get into it. Hi, welcome to Paint Coach. I'm Chris Fornatero here to help simplify oil painting so you can get better faster. So a couple videos ago, I asked everybody if you'd like for me to make a beginner's brush set and I got a lot of yeses. So here you go. Now I wanna give a little bit of context about this brush set before I get into it. Now this is just a basic brush set designed to get you up in painting as soon as possible with as little confusion and intimidation as possible. I found that keeping it simple when you're starting out is always the best way to go. All right, now this brush set is from Rosemary & Co. and they make great brushes at an affordable price. This set that I have here was only $20.13. That's before shipping. Shipping can vary depending on where you live. They're based in London and even me being here in the US and getting it shipped the most expensive way possible, getting it here in about two or three days, the shipping was still only $13.75. So all in all to get it, to get it shipped here at the fastest possible rate only cost me $33.88, which for the quality of these brushes is a bargain also one last thing i am not sponsored by rosemary co they don't know i'm doing this video i don't get a cut of the brushes they sell they don't pay me at least not at the moment i'm filming this video i just really like their brushes i've used them for a long time and i highly recommend them so let's get into it so when you order the brushes they'll come in a nice box like this so let's open it up so it's gonna open the seal here open this up They always send you a bunch of little goodies in here. So they got this cardboard, keeps everything protected. They'll give you some nice little stickers that you can put on stuff. They always have nice pamphlets, pamphlets with really good artists. You know, this will, I found a lot of good artists through, through these things. There's some great people. Scott Christensen right there, it's awesome. Andrew Tischler, the man, you've probably seen his YouTube videos. He's awesome. He has a good set of brushes as well. All right, so, and here's his brushes. All right, so. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that there aren't many brushes. I wanted to keep the number of brushes limited for a couple reasons. One is I want you to learn how to use a brush in many different ways. You know, with these brushes, you can turn them on its side and get different marks. You can get very, very thin marks. You can get very wide marks. The fact that they're flats allows you to get straight edges. There's just a lot you can do with one brush. And the second thing is I don't wanna confuse you. I don't want you to be overwhelmed with 10, 20 brushes and overthinking when to use what brush. Honestly, when I paint a portrait, it's rare that I'll use more than three or four brushes. You know, when you're getting in the flow of painting, the last thing you wanna do is stop, change brushes, this and that. So I'm always just trying to use a brush every single way that I can. Now these are Rosemary & Co's Ivory Synthetic Brushes. And I chose the Ivory Synthetic Brushes because I found that they really maintain their shape for a long time. They're strong, sturdy brushes. And the fact that they're synthetic brushes, they're gonna give you a very clean, controlled stroke. Now I know some painters don't like this, and if you, like the more sprayed, sporadic, you know, not as clean on the edges type stroke, that's fine. You can get the exact same shape of brushes that I have here, the same sizes, just do it with their ultimate bristle brush. But I just really like the synthetic for the beginners because having that little extra bit of control with your brush work just gives you a little more confidence while you're painting. And again, this is just a basic set if you wanna branch out to others later on, go for it. All right, now let's go over the sizes. Now they're all flats because I just didn't want to complicate things. Yeah, there's filberts and this and that, but you can make such a wide variety of strokes with these that I didn't feel it was worth it to add in all these different shapes and brushes. You know, get a handle of these first and then you can branch off to other brushes. So we got two ivory short flats. We have the six and the four. Now these are gonna be like your workhorse brushes. This is gonna be like when you first start blocking in thing, they're the bigger brushes. Now if you do tend to work on bigger canvases, if you're constantly working on, you know, 16 by 20s, 18 by 24s, you know, you're working big, feel free to get, you know, two more bigger size brushes just to cover space quickly. You know, this set's kind of designed for, you know, nine by 12, 11 by 14, you know, 16 by 20 maybe. But you know, if you are working bigger, you know, just grab an ivory short flat of like a 10 
10, 12 if you're working really big. So these are the short flats. You're gonna find yourself using these brushes a lot. So as you're working your painting and you've gotten all your bigger shapes blocked out and you're moving to smaller and smaller shapes, you know, getting into a little more detail, you need to be a little bit more precise, a little more precision. That's why we got the number two and the number one of the uh, long flats. Now I went with the long flat opposed to the short flat because when they're smaller there's less bristles and when there's less bristles they tend to wear down and shorten quicker so with a small brush the longer bristles will just last a bit longer. So again these are pretty much for detailed areas. Now remember you can use brushes so many different ways and you'd be amazed at how thin of lines and how little areas of detail that you can get with these brushes even though they seem pretty flat and wide for a detailed brush. So it's pretty simple, you know, you got the two bigger brushes for the broader work, the blocking in, the big shapes. And once those brushes become too big that you have to get down to some detail, you move down to your two smaller long flats. Now don't jump to these little brushes too quickly. All right, remember always paint with a bigger brush than you think you need and use these two larger brushes for as long as you possibly can. All right, then last is the ivory rigger. Now this is for very, very, very fine detail. Like this is putting those little dots, the little reflections in the eyes. This is good for your signature. Just any really small, fine detail you're gonna be able to get with this brush. I almost didn't put it in there because I'm always wary of people getting too caught up in detail and jumping to this brush right away. And the last thing I want you to do is be getting, you know, extremely close to your painting and just pretty much stippling the whole thing and just using this little brush. You know, this is last resort. None of the brushes cut it, like very, very fine detail. You're gonna go to your rigger and then you know, signing your painting at the end, it's good for that too. Now also on the site, when you're choosing your brushes, you can select a long handle or a short handle. I always recommend the long handle. I like holding my brush out. You know, I like being able to get as far away from my canvas as I can and still be touching it. And having this longer handle allows me to do that because, you know, the more you can stay far away, the more you can see the whole painting. And I just like the long handle, it's better. Some people like the short handle. Some people that do a lot of scrubbing with their brush and choke up on their brush a lot, they like the short handle. I recommend the long. If you don't like it, cut it off. And that's it, it's pretty simple. Brushes don't need to be complicated. For instance, if you came into a painting class and I was instructing and I was giving out brushes, this is what I'd give. You start simple. I'm telling you, you'll be amazed at how much you can get done with just these brushes. So in the description below, I have links to each one of these brushes. So you can click on the link and add it to your cart. If you're checking it out, it asks you, you know, where did you hear about them? If you can put paint coach, that would be great. If you do end up buying them and you have Instagram and you post a picture, please tag me, tag Rosemary and Co. I'd like to see what they think of this brush set. Who knows, maybe if I get enough followers and they actually give me a, a brush line, they'll give me discount codes that I could give out to all you guys. I also would like to hear what you guys think of this brush set. If you have any questions about it, leave those questions in the comment section. If you do order them and you use them, let me know what you think in the comments of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for full painting video tutorials, I offer those on my Patreon page, which you can find a link to to, uh, listed below. I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button. I also offer you this video and this video. They both will change your life forever. Just pick one. You can't go wrong.